to scrub. Behind the ears. Clean. Always holding his legs so he doesn't just get a little too excited. Bill and, and, uh, and Barb have told you they like it, but not all birds are created equal. And uh, some birds will just get a little more excited. I'll get the feet done again to make sure they're clean. At this point, I try to squeeze out some of the soap they can with the feather legs. That's one of the things if you have clean leg birds, they're a lot quicker and easier to do because you don't have as many feathers to work with. Then we go for a dunking. Sometimes you slip. It goes underneath for a second, but I wouldn't hold them under there for any great length of time. If you hold also the nostril, too, if you hold the nostril and want to dip the head, I do you? That, you know? Well, see, Bill's a sensitive man. I would, with old birds, do that for sure. But, but uh, you can hold the nostril just like Bill is saying. But in this case, have you ever tried? Let's say you were trying to drown a bird. It takes quite a while. It just doesn't happen just by one dunking, uh, for sure, unless they're stressed to start with. So I try to get the soap out here, and after I get the soap out, so most of it's out, then I go to the beamer jug, just right up to the chin here, trying well, you, to... You'll probably be pretty well pickled by the time Yeah, you will be. <laughs> <laughs> it dries them right out, that's right. I don't yeah. know how to pickle chicken, so I don't know. Yeah. Now, at this point, I wouldn't be worried too much about it. I'll go to the, the softening agent. Oh, that even feels good on my hands. I make sure. See, if Ed can't resist. He's got to get closer. Yeah, here. Now, once I clean here, I'll try to get as much out as possible. Thank you. 